I have loved the look of lime wash paint for years. It adds a bit of texture and an old world look to walls. When we renovated the kitchen and added new rooms upstairs above it, I couldn't resist trying it out. Because lime wash paint is more expensive than regular paint, we thought we'd try a DIY version. I had seen a few different things on the internet about doing faux lime wash with regular paint, so Mike and I decided to give it a go. I'm really happy with how it turned out. We used a beigey color in the two rooms and a dark green in the bathroom. You're going to need two different color paints, similar tone and color. The paint we used in the two bedrooms are Sherwin-Williams River's Edge and Choice Cream. You'll want to use matte finish. You'll need a small paint tray, similar in size to the brush you use, and a wide paintbrush. We used a 5-inch polyester blend flat stain brush. That's linked below. Pour both paints into the paint tray at the same time, trying to keep the amounts even. You want to make sure they don't really mix into each other. Dip your brush in, making sure the brush has half of each color on it. You also don't want a lot of paint on the brush, so dip lightly. Then you'll apply the paint in an X pattern. For both rooms, we only did one coat of paint and it looks great. The walls did have primer and paint on them before we started the faux lime wash technique. I think the more similar in color the two paints are, the more subtle the lime wash look will be. So you can adjust depending on the look you want. I like it to be a little more on the subtle side. Cutting in along the trim and corners is tricky with this technique. We actually did this two different ways. The first way we did in the bedrooms, and while it works, wasn't as easy as the second way we tried in the bathroom, but I'll show both ways. Mike used a smaller brush to do this, but still dipped into both paints the same way. Then just used the same X pattern while cutting in by the trim and along corners. Cutting in along the ceiling is even harder. You'll want to go as high as you can with the big paintbrush. Then with the smaller brush, cut in along the ceiling and then go over that using the X pattern. We did the same faux lime wash finish in our master bath, but this time with darker colors. We used Sharon Williams hardware and cocoon. In this room, Mike cut in all the corners and edges first using the lighter color. After cutting in, he did the same technique with the two paint colors in an X pattern. This time, he used a paint spray shield when doing along the ceiling. His was homemade, of course, but we have some linked below. This way of cutting in and painting seemed to work really well and was a little easier, so we'd recommend doing it this way. I love how the walls look in these rooms and love that we found a cheaper way to achieve the lime wash look. We've got a quick video tour of the finished bedroom, so be sure to check that out, and we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel.